All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. Let's get right in today's topic again, which is regarding XRP. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. Continue smashing that like button, hitting that red subscribe button. And again, you guys know the drill. You will get the continuation of these updates. But we will come back to the overall market. You know, altcoins are absolutely killing it as we know. But let's talk about some other things. Before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto crypto so we're going to come back to the price you know briefly talk about the price but i really want to talk about some other things so you can see the u.s law we're about to go bananas and this is of course um, you know section three uh, limitation of who may issue a payment stable coin so it shall be unlawful for any person other than a permitted payment stable coin issuer to issue a payment stable coin for use by any person in the united states does that ring a bell rlusd guys obviously waiting for the regulatory approval but this is massive and of course you know rift replies back saying ripple gonna be a central bank and you know on this channel you guys know we keep it 100 percent realistic none of this bs of um you know unrealistic 80 to 100 dollars price points well, none of that absolutely not and you guys know i don't talk about that we look at it from a realistic standpoint and you know i kind of agree with rift's um opinion ripple gonna be a central bank think about it let's actually think about it let's brainstorm if all these um you know different organizations that are coming abroad you know that are actually seeing the value on the xrpl ledger um, and how that could benefit their entities um, and of course future of finance you know speaking about banks specifically financial firms um, you know what they could do with xrpl ledger is something that could have never happened a few years back and you know this statement ripple going to be a central bank is not a crazy statement to be making because if you are noticing over the course of the last few updates Ripple is opening businesses around the globe. They're opening offices around the globe. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? Do they have a plan that we do not know of? Again, you know, we need to look at the bigger picture. You know, sometimes we tend to only focus on, you know, what the what's happening with the native tokens price, which is XRP. But you really need to look at what's happening as far as the bigger picture is concerned. But anyhow, let's take a look at this right here. So, of course, we know that, you know, there's a signal that we could potentially see interest rates being cut very soon. And I really want to go over this article as to how good of an impact the rate cuts could have on crypto markets. So, we're going to go over this. I'm going to share my personal thoughts with you guys so you can see uh, Lena Eadby. Sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Our researcher at Exchange Trading Products Issuer 21 shares explained that previous interest rate cuts were good for the price appreciation of digital assets as investors with cheaper access to loans took the opportunity to invest in risk on asset classes. So pretty much what we've been talking about, you know, when interest rates goes lower, riskier assets are more attractive. It's because, you know, people are willing to take that risk. And, um, you know, the great, obviously, thing that um, ED says is in March 2022, when they cut rates by 150 basis points, to reach near zero levels, the total crypto market increased by about 450 towards at the end of the year and Bitcoin price surged by 200% in the same period. But one thing, of course, we need to realize is that time was totally different, in my honest opinion. It was a complete different time. Um, you know, we could, I, I don't think we should be too relying on the 2022 levels because, of course, this was a global pandemic and, you know, that was creating a fear across the board and on top of that what we need to realize is that the market of course bumped up 450 percent because the market valuation for the broader market was much 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 lower compared to where we are right now the overall market cap for the crypto space is above two trillion dollars so you know we need to let that sink in that's something what a lot of people might not tell you but that is something we need to rem remember but ED uh, qualified her statement by explaining that while past performances does not guarantee future results, the March 2022 inch, I'm sorry, 2020 interest rate cuts also provides a benchmark to compare the likely effects of the impending rate cut on crypto markets. So I totally agree. Past performance does not necessarily mean, but you know, just look at based off of what happened 
due to the announcement itself. Bitcoin single-handedly went back up to that 64K level, which I've been talking about like a broken record at this point. And that speaks for itself, right? The market is reacting in a really positive way to that. Of course, uh, leading up to quarter four, you know, which arguably in a bull market is a great time for, um, you know, altcoins and, you know, the broader market. I think this could not have happened at a better time than now. But anyhow, let's continue to take a look at what's happening. So levels of M2 money supply as market signal. So the 21 shares analyst also pointed to changes in the M2 money supply, a measure of the total um, currency circulating in the global economy as the potential catalyst for the Bitcoin breakout. Edib noted that Bitcoin price usually reaches its lowest point several months before the M2 supply bottoms out before surging rapidly. This rapid price surge typically surpasses liquidity growth before pulling back in what the analysts describe as mid-cycle correction. And um, you know, also she believes that her um, Bitcoin exchange traded funds, which are ETFs, are a key catalyst for price appreciation amid the M2 money supply cycle. So of course, ETFs are a massive catalyst. We've been speaking about this. ETFs have changed the game. They have changed the game. They have changed the landscape. And guess what these institutions are trying to do? Do you really think we're only going to see an Ethereum and Bitcoin ETF? Absolutely not, because guess what? The interest for these ETFs are going to be uh, for other assets and they're going to come and list other assets. And um, you know, it's just a matter of time might not happen tomorrow might not happen at the end of the week but um you know very optimistic that you know we're going to start seeing wall street um you know hit with a lot of different crypto etfs and of course that is going to be very very uh, nice to see but you can really look at it from this standpoint you know this market is completely changing over if you understand this you are starting to see number one real world assets you know the coins that obviously aren't in that niche they're getting a lot of attention uh layer ones layer twos of course and um yeah you know you're seeing institutional interest they're really trying to control the crypto space and if you don't see it guys you want to look very very closely because the signs are definitely there uh but yeah you know very interesting things happening uh you know regarding the crypto space and i do want to know from you guys as to what you think regarding this but look at this guys institutional interest in digital asset investments remains high so despite a 528 million uh outflow from digital assets um investments products during the week of august 3rd which is of course at the beginning of the month institutional interest in digital asset investments remain high as evidenced by a strong inflow into blackrock's iShare bitcoin trust and fidelity's wise origin bitcoin fund 20 point three million and 61.3 million respectively so that speaks for itself you know these numbers are not small numbers by any means and you can really see uh, you know as the market corrects you know while there is a lot of bloodbath that is what obviously happened at the beginning of the month um, you do see these uh, big institutions picking up that bloodbath speaks for itself right so um, you know as far as Bitcoin price is concerned you know number one you know looking at the dominance index is pretty much on the verge of breaking out I spoke about this in some of my other updates so obviously this is kind of an indication that a lot of people now you know the conversation revolving around you know Bitcoin hitting a new all-time high is not an unrealistic uh, you know conversation to be having reason why I say that is because of the fact that um, you know when you do see Bitcoin sitting at these key levels you can start having these conversations again and now if we're able to break out of this key resistance a seventy thousand dollar bitcoin could be literally very very close and we can even see that in the next few days if we're able to break out of this key resistance so that is obviously really really beneficial uh to be thinking and as you see this um you know key resistance breaking out i think we will see the dominance actually breaking towards a yearly high because a lot of anticipation in bitcoin breaking towards an all-time high it's better to get that over with of course for the price of xrp it's going to appreciate as well or any other altcoins um you know whether you hold some other altcoins um or xrp now, obviously it's going to have an impact on it um so you know we need to look at it from that point uh point of view which a lot of people don't a lot of people just focus on oh when is the price of xrp going to hit 50 dollars when is the price of xrp going to hit 100 dollars like come on like where are these people coming up with these numbers of course i've mentioned this to you guys before xrp circulation supply is 56.1 billion dollars obviously if this number were to literally decrease at such a substantial 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 sub wait 
Am I really not able to say that word, guys? This is super late. Substantial. There you go, guys. That when I talk too loud, I can't speak. So apologies on that. Anyhow, obviously, if it were to have that type of, um, you know, a massive burn out of the circulation supply, then yeah, we could be having a different conversation. But your funds are going to be worth the same. Because, you know, look at it from like a, a split standpoint. Uh, that does not mean that you're just going to get free money or your portfolio. If you have a, a thousand um, coins right now, uh, if obviously the price goes to $10, it's going to uh, turn into, um, you know, crazy amounts. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, if you're looking at the price of XRP right now, you know, this was the fifth day in a row that the price was able to, um, you know, close back above this key resistance, um, obviously playing its level of support. But again, the target remains the same at the 78.6. But let me know down below what you guys think. Love each and every one of you guys. Smash that like button. Guys, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? We'll see you tomorrow up in CryptoZX and peace out.